Hey folks, I'm Red Monster SC here with a quick tip on the inventory transfer using voice attack. Voice attack is one of the coolest tools you can add onto your Star Citizen experience. It's a voice macro system that performs just about any combination of keybinds, mouse movements, and application functions you might need when piloting an advanced spaceship. It's available on Steam for $9 or through the Voice Attack website for $10. You can buy prepackaged voice packs that do all the hard work for you with unique voice responses, and you can also customize your own macros. Today, I'm going to create a simple macro that will allow you to quickly transfer your inventory from one container to the next by setting specific mouse movements, clicks, and pauses within a loop. This functions as a transfer all button, which we don't have right now in Star Citizen. I know that seems like a pretty basic function to an end user, but that's what we have to work with right now. So let's get started. We're going to create a new command, and it's going to trigger when I say the phrase, transfer to left. I want this macro to run on repeat, so I'm going to set this up in a loop to repeat 50 times. We can adjust that number or have it fed in dynamically if we want, but that's really up to your personal preferences. With the loop shell created, anything between the loop start and loop end is going to repeat however many times we tell it. The first thing we want to do within this loop is to move our mouse to the right inventory panel at the top left item position. So I'll add the move mouse command and choose the option to move it to a specific coordinate. We can capture the coordinates of the cursor by hitting the F8 key, and that's exactly where we want it. The next action is to press the mouse button down. There are a few options under the mouse buttons. One is to click, which combines the press and release action, and the other option splits them out into separate commands. Since we're going to be clicking and dragging, we need them to be separate actions, so I'll choose that. Now, after clicking, I want to add a brief pause so that our click will actually register with the game. Sometimes, executing multiple actions too quickly causes the game to not register that you've clicked at all, so I add a 0.1 second pause here. Next, we want to drag that item over to the inventory panel on the left, so we'll do another mouse movement and capture the coordinates again using F8. And with our mouse positioned over the correct inventory panel, we're now ready to release the mouse button, so we'll add that option here. And finally, to close out the loop, I'll add another 0.1 second pause after releasing the item so that we don't flood the game with too many inputs that it doesn't recognize. Now we have the macro created, we're almost ready to run it, but there's one more thing we need to do in the game before starting and that's to filter our inventory panels so that we're only transferring what we want from the one side and not dropping items on top of each other on the other side. So for our source side, filter down to only the items you want transferred, and for the destination side, choose a filter that will exclude everything, leaving a nice blank slate for the entire transfer process. Transfer to left. And there you go, 50 items moved in about 10 seconds. You can modify the pause delays if you want to speed things up, but it's already significantly faster than having to drag and drop them all by yourself. You can copy the command to make a transfer to right version, just modify the mouse cursor coordinates to match, and the remainder of the commands can stay the same. If you've built your own version of this and have some tips you've found to optimize the process, let me know in the comments section below. You can connect with me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Discord by following the links in the description, and you can now support the channel with Patreon. And finally, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, because we probably just saved you hours of clicking. It's the least you could do.